Hello tribe, this is Valerie White Williams and I'm going live with you today. And it's been a while because I've been through a lot of crazy stuff with the death of my son-in-law, but I'm happy to get back today to talk to you about how we can create peace and calm in times of chaos. Yes, yes, today is May 6th and I don't live in Seattle anymore, but I'm very close to Seattle, and Seattle has been completely shut down by the virus frenzy, <laughs> and it's it's pretty crazy times right now, and so I thought a lot of you guys could deal. I'd love to share some techniques to stay sane and calm, because when fear becomes ever-present, people start doing cuckoo birds, and crazy things start happening, and it's kind of the wrong direction that we need to go to when we're dealing with these kind of intense times. And that's the unfortunate thing about the media. It's like fear, 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 fear. And so it catches. The virus is fear. Okay, maybe there is a virus, but the virus of fear is even more deadly because once people start fearing, they lose their connection to source. Yes. Once we start fearing, we lose the connection to source. And fear, what does it say? False evidence appearing real. So unless someone's gonna drop something on you or is gonna give you a knife, there's nothing to fear. Because fear is not real unless it's present with you. So this is the thing about fear, is fear can take over. And some people have died by fearing things. They just get so paranoid and so freaked out that they're gonna draw to themselves what they're fearing. This is what's going on here. And so the way to handle the fear is to go back in and get in touch with yourself as a spiritual being because that is truly what we are. We are physical beings, but we are also spiritual beings. We're both. And what we've been taught and trained in school is to learn and think and focus and tell, go to the authorities and they're gonna tell us what to do and what to think and here's your paper and your test and let's wait for the instructions so you know how to do it. That does not help us in this moment. And it's fine to look at the news and check it out, but we do need to step away for our own sanity because that fear is out there, but again, it's not real. Unless someone's there in your face with a gun, that's it's just a projection for us so how do we bring that back how do we get ourselves stopping to look at the train wrecks all around and focus within so i'm going to give you some meditation tools that i learned way back in the late 80s when i studied at the washington psychic institute and that is a throw off um, group from the berkeley psychic institute and there's all sorts of little schools all around the country, probably all over the world, from that training. And I am so grateful for that training that I got so long ago because it gave me a firm foundation to deal with crazy. And that's where we're at. We are in crazy. And I think we need to actually pull our energy back so we can see things calmly and clearly. So two things, I'm gonna share two techniques that I was taught, and this is the foundation of all the clairvoyant training and the meditation, is we need to learn to what we call ground and center. Now, grounding and centering are words that a lot of people have different meanings for, but when we were taught, we were taught specific things. It's not a fluffy word, it's, it's actually a place, because we are spiritual beings in our body. So the first thing we were taught to do is how to ground. And so the grounding, we are energetic beings. And just like electricity, we need to ground into the earth. And that's where we're at right now. We live on the earth. We're physical beings in a body, in the earth. And we need to ground our electrical energy into Gaia, into the earth. So the way we were taught is to find your first chakra or get the idea, base of your spine, and think of like a little rope or a spiral or something that's going all the way down from the base of your spine, which is like your pelvis, straight down through the chair, through the 
floor through the foundation and allow it to drop all the way down to the center of the earth. And you're going to feel that connection on both sides. And you can take a breath. And this is a great way to, if you're feeling frantic, you're feeling afraid, anything that's making you feel uncomfortable, if you're feeling, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you take that breath and you go all the way down to the ground. Allow it connect there. And so we can just dump any of this weird energy that's not really ours, because it isn't, because if, you, if you're not being threatened right now, there's nothing to be fearful of. You can feel that connection. In fact, sometimes just focusing on breathing down that connection is going to give you a sense of stability. And it might take you a while. If you're really wound up, it might take you a while to just keep breathing. Now, what you can do is you can use your breath as energy packets and just whatever's bothering you, like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh my God the news. Ah! You can just take that and, and put it in a ball and just visualize it going down that chute. You can visualize it splatting into a river. This is where your imagination can help you release all that uncomfortable energy and allow you to connect to Gaia in the present time because that's where we are power when we're in the present, not worrying about the future, not worrying about the past, but being in the present moment with the earth. And to be honest, this is kind of harder for me to do it. I'm sitting on a stool. It's better if you can put your feet on a chair, but just feel that grounding. And, and it's easier sometimes when you can close your eyes. And just allow it to connect and allow yourself to feel the energetic connection to Gaia. So that is one thing. You can do this anytime. You can do it on the bus. You can do it when you're driving. Well, once you get better at it. And then you can feel that connection because it snaps you into the present time. And again, you don't need the fear because fear is not real unless you're someone's going to shoot you. It's just energy. So that's one way. And limit your media if you're getting all freaked out. Okay, number two, I'm going to talk about centering. So centering, this is another thing. We've all been taught to use our mind, to mind, to think things through. Mind, 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 mind. Okay, what we were taught in CDM or the Clairvoyant Institute is the mind is an analyzer. It's just a computer. It doesn't think for itself. It just analyzes things. So that's what we do in school. We take a test. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to pass a test. But that doesn't bring us the centering we need. What we were taught is the mind is right up here. And so if we're thinking, mm, then we're not really in that grounded, centered place because our mind is still analyzing. Mm, and, and I'm a Gemini. I, my mind loves to be hyperactive, so I get it. So it was a really big thing for me to learn how to center. So I'm going to show you how to center. It's a place. It's actually a geography. So what we're going to do, instead of thinking, mine, 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 we're actually going to pull back a little bit behind our mind. And this is really the third eye. We're going to go back into that third eye, and we're going to pull back away from the mind. And it's usually we're taught it was like here. So where this merges, that's where it is. So you're going to pull back from the mind, the monkey mind, and just be in the center of your head. Because that's where you can feel your spiritual essence is you are in the middle of your head and you're not judging. So if you're in the judgy mode, you're, I mean, I'm not meaning negative judging, but good and bad and this and that and not, then you're not centered. You're in your monkey mind. We need to pull back from the monkey mind and be in that peaceful place. Because right now, there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear in this space right now. When we are grounded, and centered, we are in our spiritual power place. When we're in our spiritual power place, we are able to see things clearly. And that's what clairvoyance is, clear seeing. 
We can't see things clearly when we're like, oh, oh, oh my God, fear, 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 or analyzing, analyzing, analyzing. So, but that's what society tells us to do. That's what the media tells us to do. We need to pull back and feel that peace. Now, once we can get ourselves, you can, it's like practicing. It's like any discipline. It takes practice to, to do these steps and to actually find that balanced place. But we can do it. Everyone can do it. It just takes practice. So those are my tips, and I'm taking my own advice because it is crazy out there, but this is a way we can connect with everybody else and the earth and be clear because you know what? I'm afraid, I think it's only gonna get crazier. So it's more and more important that we have these tools to allow ourselves to gain a sense of our spiritual truth and identity, which is not associated with the mind or fear, 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 fear. All right, so I'm going to say hi to everybody. Hi, Paula. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Anna Sophia. Hi, Tom. Thank you so much for checking in on this live stream. Right, nice to see you too. I am not familiar with the Vipassana, but I'm, I love studying all sorts of meditation. There's all kinds of ways to do it. So it's not like there's one way. There's lots of different ways, and sometimes it's great ways to kind of shift it around. Yes, and forgiveness, absolutely. I think we all need forgiveness. I mean, forgiving ourselves, forgiving this world, forgiving our teachers. It's just this being in the moment. That's really what we are supposed to be doing. And in the moment, we're safe, and there's nothing to fear. And if we stay grounded and centered, we're going to know what to do. Not think what to do, but know what to do. Yes. Also, um, very difficult for me to let go, but something I can learn. It is hard because we're all taught not to do that. I mean, that's what's crazy. When you're a child, when you're a little kid, you're looking at flowers and you're running around. Children are naturally grounded and centered until they were taught not to because we're taught to do be smart. Smart people have to think, think, think. In fact, my husband was told that when he was a child. He's like, you just need to think. You just need to think. Well. That messed him up <laughs> because the thinking, we can't think ourselves out. We can. I mean, some things we need to think. You know, you do taxes, you have to think. You have to learn music, we need to think. You know, if you do coding, you have to think. But when it comes to decisions, when it comes to knowing what's best for you, sometimes thinking is the wrong thing. We need to pull back and get that neutrality. <sighs> Breathing helps calms down and to be honest i'm not a naturally grounded person this did not come naturally for me i'm hyper and i'm busy but i did learn how to do this and then when i focus on it i can find it again so it's just something to practice and yeah so thanks for sharing my live stream today and i look forward to getting back to more live streams i think after this month, it's been pretty crazy, but I'm looking forward to doing more regular live streams with you guys again. I love you so much. This group is means so much to me, and I'm so excited because now we're getting people from all over the world, and that's really touches my heart because we are one being. See, that's the other thing. We are all one. Earth is a being, and we are cells in her body. And that's what we're moving towards. We're moving away from this chaotic, crazy pants, hacked because the world has been hacked and i won't get into that i don't want to get too religious or crazy on you but we're ready for our freedom we're ready to become a galactic planet that can join the rest of the more advanced souls in the universe and and we're 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 breaking free it's going to happen that's why we really need to work on these skills so we can go forward and be very clear and not get rattled by fear or think 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 we have our clarity, we are grounded, and we're centered, and then we can see. All right, I'm going to sign off, and I look forward to doing some more next time. Love you guys. Bye.